have you ever wondered if you could use the playtest feature on Moxfield to play virtually? I have good news for you, friend. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going through how to use Moxfield in Spelltable by utilizing the virtual camera function in OBS. First, open a playtest screen in Moxfield. Make sure your browser tab is set to the same size it will be when you're playing, as this will affect your settings. I keep mine on full screen for consistency. Next, use a link in the description to download OBS for your operating system. Once OBS is installed, open it up. It should look something like this. OBS will create a default scene for you. You can rename it if you'd like, or create a new one by clicking the plus sign in the bottom left corner of the scene section. I'll name mine MTG Virtual Camera, then hit OK. In the source section, click the plus button in the bottom left corner and select Window Capture. Name it something like Spelt Table Board. This one will show your board state. Make sure Make Source Visible is checked, then hit OK. For Windows, select MTG Deck Builder. Set the capture method to automatic and window match priority to match title or find window of the same type. Whether or not to show your cursor is up to you. It's personal preference. If you'd like it showing, make sure the checkbox is marked. Then hit OK. You'll now see your full board, including your hand and hand preview, but we only want the battlefield. In OBS, highlight the spell table board source, hold left alt. Then click and drag the red borders to crop out everything except the battlefield. Release Alt. Then click and drag the preview to position it to the top left corner. Resize it to your liking by adjusting the red borders without holding Alt. Next, we'll add the graveyard, exile, and command zone. Add another window capture source and name it Spell Table Graveyard. Select MTG Deck Builder for the window. Hold Alt and crop the view to only show the graveyard, exile, and command zone. Resize it however you like. The next bit of info that should always be visible for your pod mates is hand size. So I'm going to add a third and final window capture source and name it spell table hand size. Again, select MTG deck builder, hold alt and crop it down to just the hand size display. Resize it to your preference. Here's what to do when searching your deck using keywords if you need to hide the search results from your opponents. In OBS, go to Spell Table Graveyard and click the eye icon to hide it. Alternatively, you can still scroll through the top of the search results without hiding Spell Table Graveyard. You could stop here if you'd like, but I like my play area to be pretty, so I'm going to show you how to add a playmat. First, remove the gray background. Highlight Spell Table Board, right click, and choose Filters. In the Effect Filters section, hit the plus sign in the bottom left corner, choose Color Key. You can rename this if you'd like, then hit OK. For Key Color Type, choose Custom Color. Key Color will pop up. Click Select Color. We're going to do six twos in the HTML section in the bottom right. This chooses a gray color. Value should be 34 for red, green, and blue. Hit OK. For similarity, bump it down to 25. Leave everything else alone for now and hit Close. Then right click on Spell Table Board in Sources and click on Copy Filters. Right click on Spell Table Graveyard and Paste Filters. Do the same for hand size. Then add a new source by clicking on the plus sign and choosing image. I'm going to name this Playmat. Click on the browse and locate the image you'd like to use as your playmat. 
Hit OK and then resize the image using the red borders until it fits the screen. In the source list, drag the playmat to the bottom so it's behind the other elements. If the cards don't look right, adjust the brightness and contrast in the color key filter settings until it looks good to you. It should only take slight adjustments. And now you're ready to go. Under controls on the right side of OBS, click start virtual camera. Open the virtual camera settings by clicking the gear icon. Set output type to scene and select the scene you just set up. In spell table, open the settings when entering a game. Select OBS virtual camera and adjust the aspect ratio if needed. And that's it. You can now enter the spell table game and play Magic the Gathering. Virtual camera can enable lots of cool things, including having a face cam in your spell table game. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like a tutorial on how to do that, or if you'd like an in-depth tutorial of either spell table, mox field, or both. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Monday for some more Am I the Asshole Magic the Gathering edition, and happy spell slinging.